a chatter around campus. Everyone is so excited. The University of Richmond men's basketball team going dancing in the NCAA tournament. After winning the A-10 tournament title, the Spiders taking part in March Madness for the first time in 10 years when many of these students were in middle school. <laughs> we were little babies. <laughs> I mean, they weren't supposed to win. Davidson was supposed to win, and so everyone is going crazy. Seeing them all like happy for each other, that's really what like sticks with me. Freshman Thomas Takala really takes like photos that. of the games for the school paper. He's seen close up, a key ingredient to this year's squad. They know each other, they know how everyone is, what they're gonna do, and that, and them being together like outside of the basketball court definitely helps them. Many of the key spiders on the court have played together at UR for several seasons now. Their tournament title and unexpected ticket to the NCAA tourney, a box checked for a team that hadn't always lived up to outside expectations. Yeah, I think it was just a tremendous story of grit and determination because they could have folded a lot of times. They lost some games they shouldn't have lost. Linda Boland has been a professor at Richmond for 18 years, but a basketball fan longer. Forever. <laughs> if sports can reflect life, Bolin said this team showed a trait so many have battled lately. Filtering out some of those distractions, which is something that a lot of us had, have had to do in our work lives and our family lives over the past couple of years, is really focus on what's important to you. And that's what this team was able to do. And uh, I'm really proud of them. And I'm so excited for them to going forward. Spiders fans on campus itching to see just how long this run can last. I, I just think that it's it's great that they made it this far. I think they'll go as far as their good defense that they played this weekend will take them. I think they can go pretty far, especially with their chemistry, and I really think that they could, they could do some damage this year. Now the Spiders play the Big Ten Champs Iowa on Thursday in Buffalo, New York. It's a 3-10 tip scheduled for True TV if you want to watch.